Hi, Kellen. Um, first of all, uh, welcome home, so to speak. What was, as a free agent, what was it like to uh, make the decision to sign with Seattle, the coming to the franchise that you're coming to, and also being from Federal Way? What was that sort of a, a, a factor in your decision? And what's it like to also not only to be coming to a franchise like this, but to be coming home, so to speak? Uh, it was a big factor of mine uh, to be able to come home, play in front of my family and my friends uh, where I grew up. It's, uh, it's been a kind of a long time coming. I've wanted to play here for a long time. Um, and it, you know, it helps that I get to come home and play for, you know, one of the best teams in the league. Not everyone can say that when they go play for their hometown club. So I'm, I'm very excited to, to impact this club as much as I can. Hi, hi, Kellen, uh, Jada with the Seattle times. When you say that you've wanted to always, uh, play here. I mean, where did you make, um, did you reach out? Was it an aggressive type of, uh, trying to play here? You know, I, I just always want to come and play in front of my family and friends, uh, whichever way it could be. If it was, you know, five years ago or five years down the road, I wanted it to happen. Uh, but I didn't want to just have one year here and retire or one or two. I wanted to have a whole career in Seattle in front of my family, in front of my friends, in front of the people that I grew up playing with. So I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just one or two years, that it was hopefully many more. Hey, Kellen, uh, welcome to Seattle. Uh, Nico Moreno, Pulso Sports. Just uh, wondering, uh, coming into Seattle, have you been told uh, or what do you feel like your best position will be fitting into this team? And what are your expectations in terms of minutes and uh, protagonism in this team? You know, expectations are, are, are one thing um, and reality are another. My expectation is to fight for, for a spot. Uh, and it should be every player's perspective is, is to fight for a spot every week, uh, week in and week out. We've got a lot of young talent coming into the, uh, this team. Obviously, the, the loss of Jordan and a few other guys have kind of, you know, opened up a few spots. And so we plan on doing that. But look, I, I've been a utility player for most of my career. And as a young kid, I was not happy about it. I wanted to be solidified in one spot. But as I've gotten older and, and gotten wiser uh, in some ways, uh, I think a utility player is, is, is whatever I can do to get on the field. I'm happy with. Uh, you just mentioned Jordan Morris. Uh, mm -hmm. Does the fact that you're kind of coming uh, to potentially play that position, you're also a hometown kid, uh, does that put any pressure on you in terms of, you know, what Jordan provided and what you can provide? You know, Jordan and I are very different players. And Jordan and I are, look, yes, we're both from, from Seattle area, and, and that's great. Um, but you can never take Jordan Morris out of this club's history. Uh, and you can never replace him. And I never plan to. Um, you know, we obviously wish him all the best and if he, uh, and if he doesn't, we hope that he is going to go on and do great things that we know that he can do, especially because he's done it here before. Um, but no, I, I don't plan on taking any kind of, uh, role that is the, the new Jordan Morris. No, not at all. You know, Kellen, uh, your, your last few stops haven't quite gone how you, how you planned. Um, when you look back on those, what would you say, uh, you know, maybe didn't go right for you and, and how do you hope to, and, it, and you, are you looking at this as kind of like a, a, a restart a little bit? No, I wouldn't say it's a restart. I mean, Hey, it, it got me here. Um, it got me where I ultimately wanted to be. Um, whether it goes, you know, you had a few bad years, you learn, you learn a few things, you kind of get brought back to reality, a little humbled um in myself a little bit and now I get to I wouldn't say restart um I had a good restart last year especially with the quarantine period and, and really having to kind of dive into to, to what I wanted uh in this game and in my life and um I think this is just a positive move for me uh going forward Uh, Kellen, um, the uh, league and the Players Association are obviously in a, in a deadlock right now. Um, where are you involved in, as far as being with the Sounders, are you involved in those talks on the players' side? And, you know, what are what are thoughts as far as that goes and how that is going to affect um, this season? Well, my thoughts is that I hope we play. Um, the players are ready to play, and we're excited to play this year, uh, as we were last year, even though we took concessions. So we – Look, we're very excited. Am I in the talks? No, in the boardroom, speaking every day to the to the league and things of that sort. But we've uh, appointed people in each team to to be those leaders for us, uh, and they're doing a great job. 
uh, does this all these negotiations uh, kind of take away from kind of focusing on the season and preparing your bodies for the preseason? Uh, there's, it's it's always hard. Um, you know, final, they gave us a final date uh, in in the 22nd to start preseason, which is nice because then we have something to look forward to. We have something to train for. Um, when you're just training and hoping that something comes about, it's hard to, to get your body uh, fully back to fitness because you never know when it's going to be. If it's a month away, well, I've got myself fit enough where I have to keep that fitness. It's not easy to do by yourself. Um, so, yeah, the fact that they gave us an actual date for the preseason is nice, uh, and we're all looking forward to it. Kellen, how would you describe your continued ties to Seattle? I, I know you, you grew up in the area. You uh, still have family here. But are you, I mean, is this a, a place that you continuously come back to in off seasons? Is it someplace that you would have, I mean, we could see that you had been here for uh, for some period of time um, before the signing was announced. But like, like how normal is that? And like, how, how would you describe your, your ties to your ongoing ties to Seattle. Yeah, look, I have ongoing ties uh, every year and I come back every Christmas. Um, I'm an uncle and I'm soon to be a, an uncle of three. Um, so I, uh, I, don't, I don't get to see my niece and nephew very often throughout the year because of traveling and they've got school and my sister has jobs and her husband has a job. So it's like, ah, I can't really see him much. Uh, and so for Christmas, and if you haven't been around a, a child during Christmas, it's the best thing in the world. They're the happiest things. It, it, it makes you believe in everything again. Uh, and everything is okay. So I always come back for Christmas uh, and spoil them as much as I can. And now I get to do that on a daily basis, uh, which is very, very fun for me. Uh, Kellen, who was your first call? Did you talk to anybody from the Sounders, you know, team, team, uh, one of the players that maybe you talked to prior? Uh, when I got the news that I was going to be, uh, be become a Sounder, uh, my first call was to my parents, my sisters, uh, and a, a few of my friends. Uh, and then I got some calls from the Sounders people. Yeah. Uh, Kellen, have you had a chance to talk to coach Schmidt yet? If Schmidt's yet, if you have, what's, what's your impression of him? Has he maybe even told you what your role might be? Coach Metzer and I have had multiple talks, um, which is nice. He's, uh, he's been great. Uh, and he was a very big part of bringing me here. So I was very, very happy to, and to have those talks with him, um, whether it be positions, you know, that's that's something for the preseason and the season to decide. It's not something for, for us to, to put down on paper now. Uh, speaking of uh, Coach Spencer, how, how well do you know him? Um, and how, like, what's your level of familiarity with the, the other guys on the, on the team and the staff? Um, with the coaching staff, I mean, I've, being from the area, um, and when Ziggy, when Ziggy was here, I was training there in – high school uh, and a little bit in college as well, coming in when I was back for Christmas or back for a holiday. Um, and so Coach Messer was there. Uh, I grew up and he obviously was around the area for a long time. He's got a big hand in all of the youth programs in Washington. So he, him and his brother, Andy, uh, I've, I've been around uh, the Schmetzer family for a long time growing up around the area. Uh, and as for the, the players, you know, I've played in this league for so long. And even though we only see the Sounders once a year or once every other year, really, um, you get to know those guys. And when I come home and train, uh, a lot of them are out there. So I, I know a, lot, a fair amount of the guys and I'm excited to go play with them this time, not just in the off season trainings, but uh, as an actual player. Well, when you think about um, the Sounders or, you know, kind of going through what you, what you just said, I mean, what are your favorite, either from childhood favorite memories of, <laughs> of that, or, you know, now, or, you know, as players, you know, I've, I think it's the greatest, and most pride I've felt in this, in a lot of this city, um, one was watching the Seahawks win uh, the Super Bowl, but also watching the Sounders win. And there was one time, I, think, I don't remember what year that I watched it, but one of the years that they won it, I won, I was in Washington watching the game with some buddies, uh, and they won it. You know, and I mean, I, I, it was hard to 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 speak. I, I almost was in tears because uh, I was, I felt so much pride. But it was also bittersweet because I wanted to be a part of that team. It's my hometown team. So the fact that I'm able to do that now, I hope that we can make it as, as far and, and, and win something while I'm here. Are, are you talking about the 2019 MLS Cup or what? Or the. Was I in Washington 2019? I don't remember what year I was in Washington, but one year I was in Washington watching it. 
And the other year I was in California watching it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kellen, uh, looking at your strengths on the field, uh, uh, whether it's bish and passing, uh, what strengths do you feel like you bring to the table uh, if you do get obviously a, a position uh, inside that starting eleven, or, or other role? Yeah, I think it, I think it changes. Uh, no matter what role I have, whether it be ninety minutes or nine minutes, uh, get a full shift out of me. That's that's something I pride myself in is working very hard, uh, and I'm trying to simplify my game as much as I can to to hopefully impact in a positive way. Can you um, share any details about your contract? You said you want to be here for a few years. So. I, I hope to be here for a few years, but um, you know, with the, with the free agency signings and things of that sort and my age, it's just up for the debate. Uh, you, you mentioned that there are a lot of young players on the team now. You've yeah. played, in, I believe, 240 matches in MLS. What kind of experience, what kind of leadership, what do you think you can bring to the team that can help maybe teach the young guys as, you know, you get more familiar with them, you get to know them more? You know, I think for one is you have to make sure that they have the confidence. Um, it's a very nerve-wracking thing to come in and play with, with older players who are established, um, who have names. And, uh, you know, what's great about this, this locker room that I've heard uh, and the guys that I know on the team are very good about bringing guys in, uh, making them feel comfortable. But you have to give them a little bit of confidence. And when things don't go right, make sure that's when you really got to step in and make sure those, that confidence doesn't drop uh, because they're, they're obviously there for a reason. Um, and they need to, to get that little bit, of, a few games under their belt to really start to develop and really blossom uh, as good players. So I'm excited to see them. Um, I'm excited to, to work with them as much as I can. Uh, and hopefully I can – be a veteran player that gives them some good tips. Kellen, are you aware that your first Sounders appearance will be your 253rd career uh, MLS appearance? And I had no does idea. That, yeah. Does that number mean anything to you, 253? Yeah, good old 253, where I'm from. <laughs> that's, if that's true, that's, that's amazing. That's, that's like a, that's an absolute story just written in the stars right there. Wow. Uh, Kellen, is there anyone you talked about training in the off season, uh, any uh, Sounders players you're uh, particularly close with, uh, have a good relationship with um, and anyone you're looking forward to really spending more time with? Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, everyone um, I've actually run into Stephen Fry and, and his, uh, I, I think wife now girlfriend, but um, in Hawaii, we were on vacation uh, and he, he was there on his last two days. I had just gotten there we ran into each other Um Obviously, when Jordan was here, Jordan and Christian, uh, our good Alex was there a few times training with us. Um, but I, I'm excited just to get involved. 